Hello, everyone. You are listening to an episode of You Are the Dream podcast. This is Judith Manriquez, and today I'm going to be talking about the energies of emergence and how they relate to what is going on in terms of what you're feeling, what's happening in terms of what it means. This is a very particular type of energy vibration that I've been feeling now for probably about eight months. This particular conversation is specifically inspired by Lee Harris's post on YouTube about the April 2022 energy update. It was posted on April 1st, and I'll link to it in the notes below. Every month he does an energy update, and this year he spoke about how the future emergence energy is now being seeded. And He said he wasn't entirely clear, but what he identified was that what it means is that future actions, organizations, and creations are being seeded right now. And they may not rise to prominence for a few years, but they are coming in right now. I really want to expand on this because it's such a beautiful open door for me because I can sense those emergent energies and I have been sensing them and I suspect that the way that I perceive them and how I work with them is a form of emergence and I want to share that with you so that you can recognize them within yourself and in the work that you're going through and what you're feeling because some of what we're feeling is actually triggering people's nervous systems in ways that are um bringing up old traumas or having people feel like they've not completed a pattern or that they have more work to do. And in some instances, yes, that may be true. But in many instances, I think that we're really seeing the effects of emergence energies on us when we don't have context for them. So let's go ahead and start at the beginning. What are emergence energies and how do I define them and, and what do they feel like? So emergence energies feel like something new is coming into form, that something new is being revealed. So let's take a look at the meaning of the word. So when we talk about emerging, something can become visible to us that has not been there before. So something can emerge, like something can rise out of the ground and it emerges and we haven't seen it before. But it doesn't mean that that thing that's emerging is necessarily brand new. When I talk about emergence energies, I'm talking about something that has not been on the planet before. And I'm going to make distinctions for us as we go through this so that we can help understand and you can actually feel your way through this. So as we begin to try to find collective meaning for something that is intangible and not visible. We, uh, you know, it's important for me to explain some of this with a little bit more depth so we can find collective agreement and that you can identify if this is the case for you. The way I perceive emergence energies is that we have had consistently now on the planet a higher and higher and higher concentration of high vibration energies hitting the planet. And as a human, we then interpret those vibrations. And for a lot of people, the way that those vibrations show up is transformation. The the simple language you're hearing is awakening, transformation. A lot of us are going through feelings of transformative energies. And we're hearing this all over the place and it, and it, with a lot of lot of leaders we're recognizing especially in the intuitive space that we're making ourselves ready to support people in their awakening and in addition to these energies supporting and facilitating transformation they are also allowing for those people who have been doing their transformation work to actually bring in completely new I'm saying technologies, I mean them very broadly, completely new things on the planet. So they could be energies, they can be perceptions, they can be connections between two things that never were before that create something that we've never seen. We're going to see new technologies in the tech space. And I am personally seeing new technologies in the intuitive energy, subtle energy healer space. So 
the difference between emerging and emergence energies, emerging can mean that something has been there before and is just showing itself. For emergence energies, I'm literally speaking to energies that are moving through and available to us, and they are activating within us the ability to bring into form something that has never been before. So that brings me to the second point. These new energies are unfamiliar to our energy systems and our nervous system. Here's what that means in real life for you and me. As these energies are coming in, you don't have any context for them. None of us really do, but they are going to feel in our body like something new is coming. They're going to feel like there's something new you want to express in the world. And they're also simultaneously going to feel like, I don't know what it is, but I know it's there. Or I can feel pieces of this thing, but they don't feel right yet together. Also, for those of us who are super sensitive, which is a lot of people that I work with, whether you call yourself intuitive or not, or you acknowledge that you're highly sensitive to other people or other energies, as these emergence energies are coming in and we're receiving them in our body and we're receiving them through our energy systems, right? Our human body doesn't know what to do with them. Our human body is saying, I'm getting these feelings, these sensations out there, and I only know how to translate them into past experiences. So your human body is going to have a nervous system response to these energies, and that nervous system response, your mind is going to pick it up and say, I want to make meaning out of this, and the closest meaning I can make to this is some other past experience I had that made me feel this way in my body. And because these energies are so incredibly expansive and big, For many of us who've been through different kinds of trauma responses, it can be potentially activating your nervous system in a trauma response way. You may be feeling anxiety. You may be feeling fear. You may be feeling sadness. You may be feeling like curling up in a ball and crying. You may be feeling anger. Like These are all different kinds of expressions that I'm seeing in the people that I work with of how they're dealing with these higher vibration energies. So it's helpful at this time to recognize that you can stop and take a look at whether or not the feelings you're feeling, the sensations you're having are actually guiding you to resolve something in your nervous system that has not been addressed in the past or Can you honestly say, I've done my work on this. I'm complete with this. This particular vibration has a slightly different tone to it. And I can acknowledge that there's something new coming in and it's a little scary. So it's activating my nervous system. In that case, look for the self-care. Look to the self-care you have created for yourself in the past. Get help. Talk it out with a friend that's well-versed in intuitive and sensing conversations because there is a lot to be said for that do your self-care find your meditation go for a walk ground do your yoga run whatever it is that you do find your way to reconnect to the balance that the earth brings and that the physical form is capable of all right on to the next one i do want to stress that the cosmic energies that are coming in equal transformation energies. I said this a little earlier, but I I want to equate a lot of what you can find available when you're trying to make meaning of why today did I wake up and feel like curling up in a ball and crying when I'm actually things are really good. You know, I have people who look to certain really helpful seers and feelers out there who share this is what's coming in from the cosmic energies this is what's coming in from the solar flares all of those high frequency energies coming in are essentially showing up in our fields as transformation energy it's giving us a choice do you want to transform and with those energies 
I want to remind you that we all have the capacity to make a choice with how to engage with this energy. You have a choice. And so the options that I've written out, simplistic to break them up, is when these energies come in, you can deny that it's happening. You can resist. You can compensate for it. Be like, I don't have time to deal with this. You can accommodate, which is, means I'll put this here and I'll put them into little boxes and I'll figure out ways to make this work. You can use them to expand. You can use transformation energies to innovate. And you can actually use them to fully transform. Make yourself into the new version you want to be to something broader than what has been before. For a lot of us, because we find any of the options like deny, resist, compensate, or accommodate to be a little too restrictive, we are choosing to awaken. And transformation shows up as awakening. In the higher expression of transformation, we have emergence. The higher expression, I don't mean higher as in better. I mean, it's just a much higher frequency that we're working with. And this higher frequency isn't necessarily always showing up as emergence energies. This higher frequency can, in fact, show up as innovation or innovative energies. And let me make that distinction for you so that you guys can see the difference. And part of what kind of popped in for me is one of the reasons I'm making this distinction is that not all of us are here to work with people who are bringing in emergence energies, but there are a lot of us who are here to work with people who are wanting to expand and innovate and awaken. The difference between innovating and emergence energies, when you're innovating, you actually create something from something that has been before. So to innovate is to make changes in something that's established, especially by introducing new methods, ideas, or products. But that doesn't mean that the new thing is coming from something that has never been. Innovating is often, at least as we have seen it expressed so far, the act of taking a new approach to something that has been, adding in a new feature, adapting it to take the next step. When we're dealing with emergence energies, we are actually now dealing with things that have not been present. So let me give you an example. I was spending some time with an energy practitioner. She's an energy worker. And in the normal everyday world, people would seek her out for craniosacral work, myofascial work, or massage therapy. But the truth of the matter is, is that in her hands and in her energy field, she brings in and works with large, complex energies. And as she's living her life, doing exactly what she does in her everyday world, she's becoming aware that she wants to do something that for her, we would say is relatively normal and standard, just like I'd like to bring together a group of people. Okay, what will you be doing with that group of people? And rather than use words to describe for me what she would be doing, she stopped and showed me. She shared the experience of what she wanted to share. And when I asked her to explain to me what the relationship was between what she was demonstrating and showing me energetically in the field, she gave me answers about, well, I want to teach people how this, how what we've learned in the realm of craniosacral is too rigid. It's not, it's not accurate to what's happening in our bodies and in our fields. And what she was actually sharing in that moment is that what's coming in when, when she demonstrated to me, which was a, it's an interactive experience, we worked with and she was moving energy in the fields around us, things that I could not see, 
I could not fully sense, but that I knew were happening. So that's where my sense comes in. I have a knowingness and in her capacity to say, oh, well, I was moving the field from here and that there's certain geometric fields that are visible and available to us and then activating ley lines as we stood on the ground. So this entire experience of moving energy with different fields that she does not have names for because we do not have a collective agreement on what that is because not all of us can fully see them and moving within some framework of language that we have like ley ley lines and geometries the entire presentation and expression of what she's doing is the example of an emergence energy expressing as a new form of what healing modality, uh, expression of self, um, support for our physical body as we move through this expanding, awakening, higher consciousness world experience. So in that moment, I was able to perceive emergence energies in their expression as she brings into form that's something that does not have context. It will likely be a healing modality that other more sensitive people will be able to see and perceive and share with future other people as a healing modality, but right now it is, it is a simple um, response to the energies coming in and to her urge to create what feels like wants to come forth in her next step in her life. So I hope this is helpful to you all. I am very excited to be working with these energies that are very much going to be showing us new healing modalities, new ways of engaging in community, new ways of, oh gosh, traveling space. I mean, there are just infinite possibilities and I'm excited to work with these energies. It feels like it might be helpful to share before I close how you can work within these energies a little bit. I naturally work in and enjoy working without structure. Something about working without a particular plan or framework is very fun for me. (laughs) So when you're working with emergence energies, be prepared for there to be no structure. Be prepared for there to be no steps There isn't a step one to a step two to a step three. Um, Give yourself permission for it to be non-linear, meaning one day you're going to have an interest in this direction and another day you're going to be going in another place. Um, All of the traditional frameworks we have for creating with a plan and with steps are often not very helpful when you're working with something that is becoming form, being revealed. It happens in a very quantum way, right? So it's not linear. So allow yourself the freedom to be soft with what is coming forth for you. Allow yourself permission to know that it's happening and that it's going to show up in different ways. Sometimes it might be in your journal. Sometimes it might be intuitive. Sometimes it might be a conversation that sparks a thought and give yourself permission to experiment. Um, It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be iterative. There will be a piece that you share now, and the as the energies continue to come in on the planet over the course of the following years, the piece you first shared will morph and adapt and grow into something else. So... Remember that emergence energies are brand new for all of us and that it's really a playground. Give yourself permission to play and 
when you need help doing that, reach out. <laughs> reach out to somebody else who enjoys that type of um, unstructured work that can provide a container for you. Or reach out to me. I do this work in my mentoring. I work in a one-on-one capacity, but I also do single sessions. So I hope everything's been helpful to you today, and I really look forward to sharing what's coming next for next week. Thank you so much, and we'll be in touch.